Good morning, spacemen. This is Captain Collins. Welcome back to Space Operations Delta and another episode of X4 Foundations. Today, I got a special request from a lot of you guys and we will talk about camera controls in X4. And while this is something that you requested, then don't forget to like the video and share the video to other people so that everybody can profit from that. Thank you. Quick introduction to myself, I'm Captain Collins, I'm a Twitch streamer and YouTube content creator. I stream from Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. Central European time at twitch.tv slash Captain Collins. And of course, liking and sharing is not enough. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber until now. This will help the channel and it's for free. Thank you so much. So as we're here, I thought what should be better if not uh, showing the camera controls inside of a very big ship and we got the Raptor. So there you go. This is the Raptor and I will talk about how you can control your camera just like that. We start with the basics there. We have four camera modes which we can switch uh, through and we start with the basic one. This is F1. So we got F1, F2, F3 and F4 and we will talk about them in um, the order they're appearing. So F1, the first is wherever you are, you press F1, you go into your ego perspective. If you're flying a ship, this will be your cockpit, or if you're just running around, that will be your character, just like that. It doesn't matter where you are. Now, F2, we're already there. So F1 is very, very easy. F2 is the outside view of wherever you are in. So that was weird, by the way, but anyway. F2 is giving you the outside view and the first outside view we got here is not changeable, is always from the back so that you can fly around. If you press F2 twice, then it will change into a free camera which is locked onto your object. So now you can take the numpad and by clicking 4 you go left, 6 you go right and you got 7, 8, 9, you can just like turn the camera around your object. Minus and plus will give you zoom in and zoom out. If you are kind of messing around here and you want to have a, a basic starting point there, just press once the number five button and you go into the standard view there back. Next one is F3 and for F3 you need something as a target. So let's take for example this crane miner there which I just clicked on. So let me just try that without anything clicking on. F3 does do nothing. As you can hear I'm clicking that. Now we're getting this thing as a target. I press F3 once and this is exactly like the F2 button but for targets. So the first thing we got is a camera from the back which is automatically following the target and you can't do anything there to adjust that. And if you're in this mode and you press F3 twice, then you also have the free camera and this will give you the opportunity, for example, just press pause, look around an object or let's say a Xenon or whatever. And now you have the ability to pinpoint another target on this vessel. For example, the mining turret, because maybe you want to have that as a target. And if you press F3 again after getting a new target, then voila, you have this mining turret as a target for your camera. The good thing here is if you now go back with F1, then you will see, oops, then you will see that we have the where is it? There you go, I fixed it. Now you will see that you have uh, the mining turret as a target. As you can see, it's pointing not at the ship. There it is. It's not pointing directly at the ship, but where the turret is. So that way you can have different targets at a ship. And if you're now clicking on the ship again, pressing F3 once and twice, there you go. Free camera again. We're coming back with F2 twice. To our big space bus, the Raptor, which is kind of big, you know, that's uh, why we need to zoom out. And the last one we got there to cover is F4. And by pressing F4, it will lock the camera at this specific position in space where you just hit the button and you can just uh, look around freely. But the thing is, you can't move the camera itself from this position. 
So if you have something flying, let's take a uh, let's take a target which is actually flying. For example, this one. F3 once and twice. Let's do something like that. This thing is flying. Now press F4. As you see, the ship is flying away. So it flies away from the camera. F3 once and twice and you're there again on your target. F2 once and twice and you're back on your ship. Or F1, boom, back at the bridge. You can also toggle between these if you're using a gamepad like myself. For example, on an Xbox controller, it's, it's whoop, let's get me this, it's this button here. Um, the, what is that, menu button or something? You can also switch through different modes. There you go. You can do that also on your controller to have the freedom of look. Now, this was something on our ship, but this actually also works if you are on a station. Now, this also works on a station and now we're on my player owned shipyard or wharf, which I built. And by the way, you can have uh, the construction plan if you want to of this uh, ship wharf in the discord it's there i put a link down in the description if you want to go to the discord and just get uh, this blueprint i also have some other blueprints and some community members also put up their blueprints in the discord and if you want to share maybe your own blueprint just go to discord channel is x4 grand exchange of course that makes sense and put down there your construction plans so as you know, you're here running around. This is the view you already know. But now your ship is the station. If you press F2, look at that station view from outside. You press F2 twice. Look at that free view on your station. Now this allows you to make wonderful, wonderful shots of your station. Maybe with these nice blue glowing uh, solar panels. <laughs> so F2 once and twice, F3 of course doesn't work because you can't take targets when you're running around in the ego perspective, but you can press F4 and your camera is locked outside. So this way you can do some very cool shots, maybe with some ships in the vicinity. F1, we're back. Camera controls as much as I know, as much as I use. They are useful in some situations and I have a bonus tip for you if you are in the map and you lose overview then you have the M button to go onto your map and right next to it the uh, two next buttons um, to it at my keyboard it's comma and period comma will give you a overview and period will give you the detailed view. So M is map, then one to the right, one more to the right. There you go. Whatever it is on your keyboard, just figure that out. That's a bonus tip from my side. So that's about it. Camera controls for you. Hope you like it. Like and definitely share it because that was a request from you. So get more people to know it. Thank you so much. I'm Captain Collins. We'll see us again in the next video or on Monday on the stream. So have a good time. Bye.